Good morning. This lighting makes me look kind of like Blair Witch Project, but we are just up. We're uh, in the cabin at Fort Wilderness. We're waiting for a minivan to pick us up and take us over to Magic Kingdom because we are doing four parks in one day. The four park one day challenge. It's a good way to end a trip. We're getting in a minivan. Not mini, but like mini, like with ears. Thank you, sir. All right, so you made it into Magic Kingdom and we're down in the uh, Castle Hub area, which is where they hold everybody for rope drop. And uh, today we're doing a fun challenge, four parks in one day, which means we're gonna visit all four big parks, main gate parks in Walt Disney World. And the challenge that we're making for ourselves is fairly doable. We're just challenging ourselves to do one big ride in each park, take one photo pass picture in each park, and have one adult beverage in each park. However, you cannot drink in Magic Kingdom, so that's why we're starting here for breakfast. Really fun way to end a trip. You know, you can make it a four park in one day challenge, like really challenging, but we're making it kind of low key because we just want to relax and take our time. Anyway, here's the lay of the land for Rope Drop at Magic Kingdom. Right in front of me, you have the beautiful Cinderella Castle. There are a lot of people that are just hanging out right in front of the castle to watch the opening ceremony. They do a little show, you'll see it in a moment. And then over here on the right, you've got the biggest lineup of people and they are lining up for uh, the mine train, the Seven Dwarves mine train ride. That's the biggest like crowd crush. And then on this side, better lighting over here at least, um, You've got, uh, like I said, castle viewers and then people that are lined up to go toward Liberty Square and Frontierland and Adventureland. And that's actually the direction that we're gonna head because that is much more chill uh, at rope drop time. We're gonna head over, I think, toward Big Thunder or Haunted Mansion and make one of those two rides our Magic Kingdom headliner for our first park of the day. Frontierland. Here we go. And uh, there's some cast members way up ahead, kind of keeping things civil so no one's shoving and crushing. But I believe most of this crowd is probably headed back to Big Thunder Mountain Railroad, which is we are we are heading for our attraction of choice. We might try to squeeze one more in before we leave the park. We're giving ourselves about 90 minutes in this park this morning. Here comes a bench of empty splash mountain logs. First cast member riding through the ride, checking off the safety points, I'm guessing. Alrighty, I want that job. We're gonna be in the last car for Big Thunder Mountain, which is the, the best one. Because you get whipped around more. Neither of us have had any coffee yet. So, it's either gonna be really good or really rough. Here we go. managed to snag a last minute fast pass for Haunted Mansion, so we're gonna hop on that really quick. So we're getting two, two good rides out of the way this morning before we leave the park. Um, but we are, uh, it's just about 9.30 right now, so we are making okay time. All right, and we are headed up to Haunted Mansion, which does not have a long wait, but we do have a fast pass, so we'll be even quicker. Are we rope dropping this morning? But we are rope dropping on the spring forward morning, daylight savings morning. So we actually lost an hour to get up to come to rope drop today. So I feel like we should get extra 
challenge points for that. <laughs> Extra points. And we're doing it without coffee. We're, we're both free coffee still. We're now headed back into New Fantasyland. We're gonna check out Gaston's Tavern. Our beverage for this park is LeFou's Brew. I've never had a LeFou's Brew. Have you ever had a LeFou's Brew? No. Yes, yeah, so this is a first. First brew. Even though they don't serve actual brew in Magic Kingdom, this is like the closest thing we could get to an adult beverage. So this is it, this is our uh, first beverage of the day. This is the LeFou's Brew. We did not get the souvenir mug. We just got one to share, because I've heard it's very sugary, but I think it's apple juice, mango juice, and a marshmallow foam, something like that. Um, sounds really sweet. We also got a um, the cinnamon roll to split. It's really enormous, it's hard to tell the scale of it, but it's quite a large pastry, so uh, we got our work cut out for us. Bottoms up. <laughs> Good. Uh, I don't know what I was expecting, but that is yummier than I was expecting. It's definitely sweet. It's also like frozen, like slushy-ish. It's. I'm, I like it. I think I'm. I think I'm a fan now. This isn't the first time I've had the cinnamon roll that's as big as your head from Gaston's, and I like this pastry. Okay, but there's other pastries on property that I like better, just not in Magic Kingdom. If that makes sense. So I always find it to be a little bit dry, but it's still good. I don't want to eat it, you know. Okay, we're leaving Magic Kingdom. So one park down, three to go. We got two rides and our drink and our photo, and we are headed to Animal Kingdom Park next. The time is 11.10 a.m., so we are making really good time. Just got into Animal Kingdom. We were lucky when we left Magic Kingdom that the bus from MK to DAC was like right there. Um, so we didn't waste any time with transportation, it's awesome. I was able to score a fast pass for Flight of Passage while I was on the bus. Got so lucky because it's like the hardest thing to ride besides Slinky Dog. And so we're gonna do that at about noon, so a little less than an hour. We gotta take our photo, we gotta do our adult beverage, we gotta do all the things, and then move on. So here we go, Animal Kingdom, woo! Now it's time for our adult beverage. This is the beautiful Nomad Lounge. This is one of my favorite places to chill in all of Disney World. Great place to just kick back and get a cocktail and have a beautiful view. That's Pandora over there. They've got these beautiful couches and then they've got these little tables. We're going for the couch. All right, I ordered the drink that I almost always order at Nomad Lounge, which is the Snow Leopard Salvation. It's kind of like, um, it's got kind of like a gingery kick to it. It's really nice. And then uh, if I got the Mustang coffee, which I've had before, it's a very, um, it's like a buttery, brown, sugary, very alcoholic uh, coffee beverage. It's very nice. So that's what we've got here. We also ordered some poutine, so that should be coming. The atmosphere here is just so nice. It's a beautiful day. We're sitting in the shade. Uh, I think we're doing four parks one day in the most chill way that anyone possibly could. The grown-up version of four parks one day, or the lazy person's four parks one day. The grown-up version. Yeah, the grown-up version. We're having a great time though so far, and I like the music, and we're just like we're chilling, we're happy. Yeah, it's a good day. Okay, and our little uh, snack arrived. We're getting the poutine. It's kind of a truffle. Truffle salt, uh, truffle-y flavored poutine. It's got some fried onions on it as well. It looks really good. Turns out I'm a fan of this poutine. It's just basically good french fries with a truffle cheese sauce, um, but it's good. And a little oniony flavor as well. It's really good. Mm. All right, heading into Pandora for our Flight of Passage Fast Pass. Yay and hooray. Only way you want to do this really is with a Fast Pass right now. Check out that wait time though, 175 minutes. Ouch. An amazing Navi ride of passage, flying on the back of this powerful animal called an Ikron, or as we call it, a Banshee. The way you're going to do this is by being matched to something called an Avatar. And I'm here to help you guys get ready. Player passage was awesome! Right? Yes! Yes, it's awesome! You flew! You flew! Your babe? Here, yes. It is park, yeah. It's, it's pretty sick. <laughs> pretty sick. There's some uh, new merch in Pandora that I haven't noticed before. So we've got a Pandora hat that has the little um, 
Navi ears on it. That's pretty cute. I love my Disney hats. And then we also have a little Banshee handbag. All right, headed out of park number two. So successful visit to Animal Kingdom. Love Nomad Lounge. Love Flight of Passage. Probably my two favorite things to do in all of Animal Kingdom besides the safari. Um, so we're headed for the exit. Oh yeah, third favorite thing to do in Animal Kingdom. Get Starbucks, so check, check, and check. Uh, we're headed over to Hollywood Studios next. Not sure what we're gonna ride. Not sure what we're gonna drink. Anyway, see you over at Hollywood. Na 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 Hollywood. Yeah, yeah. We're having the best luck today. The bus was there practically waiting for us to get to Hollywood Studios and Yvette got us a fast pass for Slinky Dog. Same day. We've had very good luck. And we are in! We're in Hollywood! We were here yesterday so this is going to be in and out real quick but we're excited for Slinky and probably Baseline Tap House maybe for a drink. All right, headed to Baseline Tap House for our adult beverage of this trip, of this park. So uh, usually when we come to Baseline, we get beer, but we're gonna try the cocktails on tap today. I'm gonna get the exotic margarita. I'm a total margarita girl. And uh, that's gonna get the California Sunset. She's more of a vodka type. So that's what we're planning on doing for our Hollywood Studios drinks. They sound fancy, so pretty excited. Okay, so this is my drink. Um, this is the uh, exotic margarita. It's extremely green. Whoops! It's also extremely wet. Um, it's like Kermit the Frog green. I'm a little scared of it, actually. And then that's a vats. It looks really pretty. That's the California sunset. Ooh! Okay, it's good. It's, um, it's a little sweeter than I would like, but it's very margarita-y. I love a good margarita. And this is zoom, and I can see that I'm getting sunburned. Yeah, I'm getting all kinds of good views. I'm getting my green against my red. <laughs> Summer, it's very, it's very attractive. Um, but yeah, good margarita. It's an on tap thing, so they don't mix it with a bar. They, it comes out of a tap because this is the baseline tap house. So there you go. Uh, how was yours? Well, it's a little good. sour, but yeah, good. It's not super sweet. And it's really pretty. It's like a sunset. All right, we're finished at baseline and we are headed back to Toy Story Land for our Slinky Dog Fast Pass. I definitely am feeling that margarita on tap that I had, and I'm a little bit nervous that having that right before Slinky Dog was not my best Disney life choice. <laughs> Current wait time for Slinky Dog Dash, 110 minutes, 110 minutes. So if you can get slick on that app and get a fast pass, it's pretty much the only way to do it in my opinion. <laughs> Otherwise, come to the park at night, get in line right before closing. Um, you won't have to wait as long and it won't be as hot as these people are experiencing as well. So that's another good option for Slinky Dog Dash in Toy Story Land. Here we go, I love Slinky. Yay. He's got a big head, big face. Yay! 
We're going again. Yay. We're going again. <laughs> best day ever. Chelsea told me that not only is the back car the best, but if you go on the far side, it's more intense when you go around the curve. So go in the back and go far. Not go long. And go far. <laughs> going again. We're going in the back. There's Yvette filming. Chelsea's responsible for this experiment for science. intensity on oh, slinky. I don't know, I kind of felt it more in the front. They were both, well, I feel like I kind of know how the back feels. It's like you get a little extra pull, yeah. but the front was the like bigger the surprise. Yeah. It was the more, it was a bigger surprise for me than the, than the back. But I feel like you can't go wrong with the front or the back. The view from the back is better, right? No, the view from the back is better. You Absolutely. can see his like, yeah. little head. In the you front, can you see, only the, see the head. In the front, you're like hidden by the head. In the back, you can see the whole train and the whole everything. So that was awesome. Thanks, Chelsea, if you're watching. We love you. Thank you. All right, we're headed out of park number three and on to our final park of the score park challenge, which is Epcot. And uh, as you know, it's Flower and Garden Festival right now, so we're just gonna spend the rest of our time chilling. Oh, Star Wars is happening. We're gonna chill at Flower and Garden, and that's gonna conclude our day. And I'm so happy. From Hollywood Studios to uh, Epcot, a couple things you can do. You can walk, there's a walkway. Uh, you can probably take a bus, although that's not very fun. You can also take a boat. There are some friendship boats that um, come from Hollywood Studios around to the Epcot Resort area. And uh, we got off the friendship boat over here at the Dolphin. That's the Dolphin. I love that resort actually, and that was our boat. We just we just came off it. <laughs> And if you choose to do it that way, you end up at the Boardwalk Resort area, which is a very short walk into the World Showcase entrance of Epcot, which I prefer that entrance because it's usually a lot quieter, the bag check is very short, the tap style lines are very short, and then you get right out into World Showcase and you don't have to traipse through Future World if you're going to World Showcase to eat or enjoy a festival or, or whatever. So I prefer either the walk or the friendship boat, although I'm, I'm guessing you could probably also get there by bus from Hollywood to Epcot, but that would be my third choice of the three. Anywho, we are headed into our final park of our four parks, one day experience. We're crushing it. finishing our four parks in one day journey at the Flower and Garden Festival. There's a chance that this isn't going to be my final beverage of the day, but this is the one that I want to highlight for like my favorite um, in this park. And this is only available during Flower and Garden. This is the La Vion Rose uh, pink, pink slushy, uh, and, it's, and it's adult. I also am getting another one of these. Cheese and onion tarts, they're super yummy. Definitely one of my festival faves. Yvette's got one too. And then uh, she has a favorite drink from France as well, the orange slushy. I've never been in Epcot with her when she hasn't gotten this. This is like her drink. She loves it, so. I had it once, it's good. I prefer my pinky, but orangey is good too. We've been sitting on this bench for a long time. We're not moving. <laughs> we surrender. We surrender. Okay, even though we're winding down, I just need one more moment for how beautiful this park is during Flower and Garden. Oh, it's such a pretty park. I'm glad I spent so much time here in Epcot this trip. It was so worth it. Truly my favorite time of the year to, uh, to come down here and see Spaceship Earth. So I'll be back in May, which is the good news, but it's, uh, it's always hard to leave, so. Womp womp. Our uh, final ride of the challenge is gonna be Soren. It was supposed to be Test Track, but Test Track is down, which it's always down. I don't think any ride breaks more than, what's it called, Test Track. <laughs> Let's listen to the land we all love. Na 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 na. Listen to the land. Listen to the land. Leave a comment down below if you remember that song.
did our ride, we got our photo, we are zonked, and we have completed our four parks in one day challenge. And uh, now we're gonna go home and take a shower and shower it all off. Thank you for watching. Let us know, let me know down in the comments which park was your favorite or what thing that we did today you might want to incorporate in your four parks one day challenge. And goodbye, beautiful Epcot Flower and Garden Festival, and goodbye, Disney. I'll have to see you again real soon, like sometime in early May. Trip announcement will be forthcoming.